All right, guys, welcome back to another live. So today we're going to be jumping and checking out this game called Kingdoms of Amalar um, Re-Reckoning, I guess. Uh, nobody per, remi nobody said anything about the Re-Reckoning, so I was really, really confused when I was looking this game up. I guess this is a remake or a remaster of the original game. I don't chat. You guys let me know when did the original game, game come out. But um, I have no idea what this game is. I watched a little bit of the gameplay preview on Steam. Um, it actually looked a lot like Fable, uh, but way, way cool. And i um, not saying Fable's not cool. It just looked way cool. And uh, I was like, yeah, you know what? Let, let's check this one out. You guys have been bringing it up to me ever since we started Fable. People have been asking me to check this game out. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. We're going to see what this game's all about. I have absolutely no clue what this is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty fun, though. A lot of people in chat seem to be quite excited for this one. So remember, if you guys want more than just this one episode, you want this to be an ongoing series, smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, you know, and depending on the performance of the video, we will for sure play more of this. Um, I got a good feeling about this one, guys. This one looks like it's going to be a ton of fun. So uh, let me see. Make sure I got this. And boop. All right, so uh, yeah, we're gonna jump in. Uh, we're gonna start playing this. Let me get my controller. <clears throat> Thought I played this one. I never even heard of this game until literally George brought it up like a week ago. Never even heard of this game. All right, here we go, guys. So let's get the music on. It's, it's quite loud. All right. <clears throat> From the beginning, we were wrong, and only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken? A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable favor. <laughs> but Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary, he had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Oh shit, well, the game's starting off with me dying, bro? I'm not gonna lie, that, that armor set is really dope looking. Damn, that was loud as hell. <laughs> what do you think this one is, Dan? How far? Could even be a Jotun. 
always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Okay, so... Oh, so there's, like, what, different races? Awesome. Okay, so... The Almain Almain are warlike and religious nation of a storied origin. Many Almain uh, come to Feyland seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. So racial bonus is alchemy, blacksmithing, and persuasion. Ooh, guys, so is this like an RPG? RPG? Like, like, like. Are we gonna be able to do like professions? Cause I see blacksmithing. I'm automatically thinking professions. Um, now I don't. One question I do have is: there different classes? Like, can we be a warrior? Can we be a? Can we be like a rogue? Can we be a mage? Can we be a mix of? Uh, uh, okay, so this is the Varian. Um, hardened by the high seas, the Varian uh, or the Varani, Varani are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Okay, um, they get one mercantile, two lock picking, and plus one detect hidden. Okay, so we got, oh, these are like some dark elves. Oh, those of our proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. Uh, they judge themselves fit to divine right from wrong under wind, sun, sky, and met even-handed uh, justice. So we got plus one alchemy, sage craft, and dispelling. And then we have these elves are renowned as sophisticated students students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly with grace or efficiency or efficient in silence. Yeah, I might run with this this class. Not because I want to play I mean I I, I don't know chat. I, I kinda wanted to try another like mage. Do you guys think mage is like maybe like a mage rogue you know what i mean i don't know I, I, we, we played a little bit of mage and i was like i kind of want to like play some more mage man it's, it's actually kind of fun i don't ever play mage so you know what? we'll go with this class we'll go with these guys um okay so this is like our religion this is plus 10 mana plus five health plus one crit one crit eight crit damage mana Mana regen. Poison, poison, resistance. So I'll go with this one. Wait, a magic and luck. So we get plus five mana and plus five mana regen. Hairstyle, yeah, this one is not too bad. It's probably the best looking one, honestly, for right now. Mm. 
Because there's some like weird like top knot thing. Huh? Oh no. Yeah, we'll just roll with that. That's that's cool enough for me. That's good enough. We don't look evil. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll roll with that, guys. I don't want to spend too much time on this. We don't look evil at all, dude. Why is chat always making me try to be evil, dude? One's pretty cool. Yeah, something simple like that. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Alright. There, we look good, guys. Definitely a bad guy build? No, it's not, dude. We look good. We just look like a mage. I feel like I feel like that our, we look like a mage. A <laughs> no surprise there. You've seen a lot of people. I'm not usually in this good of shape. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. What should we name him? Oatmeal. All right, so of course we're gonna be Brian. Damn, were they dropping me, bro? Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Game over. <laughs> Rip. Smell right there and kill you. <coughs> okay. I don't know if, okay, here we go. I was like, I don't know if there's gonna be like loot around here. Yeah, we got four gold, chat. We already got four gold gold. Oh, my bad, dude. I mean, he was already dead. Rusty long sword. All right, let's. You have acquired a new weapon to see your items. Press start. Inventory weapons. Primary. Rusty longsword. Yep. Okay. Look at us. Shall we already got a weapon? I mean, granted, you know, we wanted to be a mage. This is just temporary. Okay. Feels nice.
They're all over. Run! Goddamn. Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! What is that block? <laughs> Easy. Okay, we gotta roll. Stay away. Direct contact. Angie, I'm gonna have to check that Anybody? out. No child of dust shall escape. You up there, please help me. Please. More mortal scum? No matter. To dodge we'll all die. <laughs> gonna let me whoop their ass all right so we got some we got some armor i'll wear their stuff for right now uh we got the battered armor yep that's better than what we have and then the worn leggings yo we are yoked oh, crazy you. dude thank you I, if you hadn't come along I, wait i've seen you before on the slab you you were dead. It worked. By the tome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, um, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. How about no, dude? Uh, let's figure out who the attackers are. I don't know. Oh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. Professor Formerus Hughes. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Okay, so he gave me some heal pots. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Oh my. You don't know? Okay, right. Perhaps the probe yeah. never seen them this far inland. Let me get this door. Right this way. Okay, let's get the boots on. Look at us. Already got a full armor set, chat. Let me make sure there's no other goodies in here to loot. Can you break these? Oh, you can. Okay. Greatest invention, the well of souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death. I don't think they want the well, bro. I think they want to destroy the well. And that dude is dead as. Oh, uh, bro. Shut 
shark dude with the super chat thank you so much and doug what's up brother how you doing man done with aaron how it goes hey, it's going good dude we just starting out this new game seeing what it's all about We're in the tutorial right now. We're in one of the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. Um, okay, so some flimsy greaves, lockpick, and gold coins. Let me see. I'm gonna see if those are boots are better than ones we have on. Yeah, they are. Oh wow, those are like heavy armor though. I can't believe how many of you guys are saying how much you love this game and I never even heard of the damn game. Let me see, uh, so let me see, there's a decent bit of people in the chat. Let me see them W's in the chat if you never heard of this game also, like if this is new to you. Or was I just living under Done an actual with rock? How goes? Got some torn gloves, lockpicks, more healing potions. Okay, so there's a, oh, there's at least more than just me that had never heard of it. Okay, cool. I was like, dude, this is, that's... I've never even heard of this damn game before. Alright, so let's see, what is this? Uh, weapon rack. Uh, the, the crude kite shield. Uh, you have acquired a shield. Shields are used to block enemy attacks. Try equipping it now. So are shields considered armor or... Yep. Damn, that's a big ass shield. Wait! Do you hear something? To offer. Oh my You're going to need more than just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it. Where? Oh. oh fucking bow, you lying ass dude. Oh that guy on the ground. You have acquired a long bow. So they're gonna bring us through all their different weapon types, I hope. Nice, so we got a crude bow. I don't know how to use it though. Why? Shoot them before they see us. Damn, that bow hits different, chat. What? <laughs> dude, we're just getting all the gold from these boxes, dude. Ridiculous chat. Does it get just more ridiculous? Because it's already busted.
rusty leg plates. So this is going to upgrade me into almost probably, what? Yeah, it's plus eight armor. Yeah, we're going to be wearing a full set of freaking plate here soon. Daggers are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Daggers? You guys know how I feel about my daggers, guys. Wait, can I put daggers on? Oh, you can. So I, you can equip like a primary as a sword and then also have like daggers as a secondary. Ooh, hold on. Let me find out. Oh, yes. <laughs> he stabbed the fuck out that little dude. Snake, bro. What's the sneak button, bro? You can't just tell me. Oh, if you sneak. Okay, how do I sneak? Just walk slow. No, oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, the fucking. George! Thank you, bro, for suggesting this game. There's straight up like an actual sneak. Yeah, this shit got a better stealth takedown than fucking like Skyrim doesn't even got a fucking good what? Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Access your abilities. Press X to use your Stormbolt ability. Incredible. What are you? I don't know. You tell me, bro. Big ass spider, dude. <laughs> Torn robes. Uh, okay, so this looks like some mage stuff here. the armor combination it actually doesn't look too bad right guys this is a we're saying like this is, a, this is how a true battle mage dresses right
Definitely want to get some of the mage armor on for sure. That spell is pretty powerful, dude. Required a staff. Uh, staffs are a type of weapon preferred by mages. Try equipping one now. So what does it do? Fire damage, burning damage over three seconds. Oh, it's okay. So it's separate from my actual spells. They've completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. Okay, so there is a cooldown on spells. <laughs> Getting some decent mana regen here. There's also a charged attack. Uh, darkness with a super chat. Thank you so much. This was my game back in the day. You like it? I'm already having a great time, man. some potions on these <laughs> almost blasted him that's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick! Or the squad will make another push. So are these guys gnomes? Or dwarves? Like they look you like gnomes to me. Armory, we might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get your shoes. We can hold off the Chip, what's going here. on? You should see there's a mod set up for this man. You might be able to make the next gen. Uh... I don't, I, I don't want to um, I mean I just started playing the game like like mods are a little it would be a little much to try to <laughs> to try to start with I made that mistake with Fallout 4 um, I could fight with you bro we can't risk you getting killed your proof that the well can work don't you realize what that means just keep going past the top of the well Hughes will be there in his study I'll see you on the outside. If fate wins. Let's hit these boxes up. Set. All right, let's see what kind of gear we can get out of here. Yeah, they look like gnomes. A lot of... and It's crazy because this whole place is run by them. Um... Plate armor. Nothing protects quite like Leia. Leather armor... Thin, but we'll give you the speed simple clock. Oh, 
frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. George with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. Hold attack for I, I, did, I didn't do anything though. Like that's holding attack for a staff. This shit got some burning crusade vibes going right now, chat. Again, George, thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> you've made it, and look at you. Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes. And this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The well of souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. You don't know. They're called the Tawatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflo. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalantarth. And why attack the well? The guy's name is weird. Gadflow? Like... The Fey are... Complicated. The... I could write ten volumes on the effects of immortality on their pseudo-feudal court system alone. I am Fomorous Hughes, scholar of vivification prime circle. We're standing above my life's work, the Well of Souls. And there's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. A side effect of the prismere? Shape of the basin? No, no. If only we had more time. I wish I could tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased, recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Your rebirth is the first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I could stay and fight and kill everybody, dude. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Wait, Fascinating. where are you going? Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The dwarf have reached the lab! That inside the lab! No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of war. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Go! 
I didn't expect the, the little man to have hands like that, chat. A stealth mage chat. Yeah. <laughs> Get moving, you brute. Tear this tower apart. resistant to that. Okay. He's quite resistant to magic. Plus five health. Yo, he got the juice, dude. Gotta level up. So we can go. Oh.
So which one should I go for? I don't see any magic skills, guys. Or are these different? Are these... Detect hidden? This is all different stuff. Yeah, so this stuff seems like it's... Separate from combat skills. Hmm, oh, so we got... Um... You know, persuasion is always cool too, man. Yeah, actually, yeah. so we'll, we'll, we'll dump some points into stealth. Because we're, we're going to do, we're going to do like a stealth mage build. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is... This is what I was looking for. So that is like are your like profession stuff. This is the combat stuff. The whole fucking Oh, here we go. Arcane weaponry. Um what, what charge? Oh, so this is the charge spell for the staff. So let's get that. What is this? This looks a lot like the World of Warcraft like talent tree, doesn't it, dude? <laughs> Uh, look, I was studying practice, uh, wield scepters very effectively, plus two, okay, no, you've learned channel incredible amount of energy through your staff, increasing its damage outpost considerably, okay, so we'll go, okay, so we'll go three points in the staff, yeah, you see we got might tree here, finesse, this would be a lot of daggers, what's max level in this game, guys, so I'm gonna have to, we're gonna definitely have to divvy out our points pretty evenly here. So now I can... Pulsive circle on your minimap indicates uh, your quest objective. Got it. What is this? Use shrine. A temporary bonus. Different deities will confer. Okay. It's like a whole bear right there. Chad, is that thing gonna attack me or is it? Are you chilling or what? Oh, well, leave that man alone! Oh my god. Oh, you didn't give a fuck, dude. remember you you're you're the one how did you come back how did you find me here I don't fucking know dude when I saw you with Ensel in the well I ran but it wasn't because I was afraid I was coming to report that Hughes's experiment had succeeded the well of souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project my contact pays well for information about its progress. 
larger send reports to make some Hello, money Hello Brian, I hope you enjoy this one. But I don't it's know a great at game. Found out. Check the dive spot to the right to of the bridge, map right, for one of the hurt. best weapons till mid-game. Larissa, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. The dive spot. Uh, whoa, hold on. Pay me and you live? So it was this guy's fault that we got attacked, chat. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime. So this is all his fault, chat. I don't have... Okay. Here. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. You lost, bro. So I spared him, chat. I spared his life. Spared his life. Callie with the mem re up on the membership, brother. Thank you so much. I could have killed him, but... We spared him. He's got a family and shit. So what dive spot? <laughs> Here in the water? Oh, new shield. So it is all the little circle ripples in the water or whatever. Oh shit, yeah, look at this. Booming daggers. There's even like a little waterfall thing here. So we got some new daggers, which as you guys know, I'm happy about. Five fizz. Oh, damn, those are pretty nice. And they do lightning damage. Just stay very still. Oh, Peter. I'm broken! Goodies there. Very easy. Yeah, we got a bunch of lockpicks, so. Press A when the cursor is above a glyph. To break it, the glyphs will reseal themselves after a time. Miss and all glyphs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But we got some good shit here, guys. Like, we got some really good stuff. In my opinion, at least. I so I got this cowl here for man... Okay, I mean, we don't look super cool, but it's all good. Um, it's got these frost weave hand wraps. 
They're yellow tier. Um, physical resistance, Chen mana regen, and it's got a set bonus. Yo, this shit is so much like wow. Three piece set bonus would be twelve armor, two health regen, one mana regen. Order of the Ash. Oh, we have we have an eight sorcery in order to rock those though. Elemental resistance. Yeah. It's the build. Okay. You gonna hide the hell? Yeah, I mean, it's all good. I'll keep it. I mean, we'll probably get something that's cooler looking eventually, right? Location, the stone candle mines. So my alchemy is not high enough to actually get reagents from this. Should we hit this mine right now or should I like... Let's go through this... Because who knows, there might be a mission that sends me to these mines. What's going on here? Yo, this dude looks badass as fuck. Yo, he looks like he looks what I want to look like. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? What the hell's a fate weaver, bro? Can I be that? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Never mind, that sounds boring as fuck, dude. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. But its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. Can you give me some help, dude? I suppose I could spare a little help in memory of Hughes. Or in celebration of his success. Whichever. There it is, chat. See, you just gotta hit him up, dude. We just gotta hit him up a little bit. You really don't know much, do you? A fate weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each fate weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You, you're the one. Then that means. It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. I'm not gonna lie, this dude's armor is so sick. Is he strong? Oh, <laughs> 
perform a special attack to defeat enemies. When the fate meter is full, the fate symbol will pulse. Uh, you can use your fate energy to enter reckoning mode. Reckoning mode greatly increases your speed and attack power. It lasts until either your fate meter runs out or you fate shift an enemy. Hold R to, to harness the power of fate and enter reckoning mode. Defeat enemies and reckoning mode, their fate will begin to unravel. So does that slow down time? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? I don't fucking know. I just did it, dude. You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. Whatever, dude, show me You're the fate. Nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Dude, I'm real, bro. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... Missing? This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. So, I got I got a question, chat. Like, I don't know how this game is set up or how it works, but like, can you like be? Is, is it kind of like that fable? Can you be like evil or good or what? Unlock destinies. So, newly resurrected, your fate is blank, formless, and ready to forge into the shape of your choosing. Rogue. Unlike many of the warriors of MLR, rogues prefer the fight from far away, or from behind, or by dishonorable means. And usually by surprise. As a rogue, you sneak, dodge, and slather weapons with poison to gain the advantage in combat. Okay, as an acolyte, you are devoted to the arcane and a mastery of the elemental force forces. You prefer to destroy your enemies with raw magic rather than through crude or mundane methods. And then there's brawler. You are a formidable melee combat. Um, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Usually more effective with blocks. Suffer yeah, no, no. We're, we're hmm. Oh, there's different tiers. So sorcery is a tier two. Okay, so we'll start off with the acolyte. You're terrible at this. <laughs> Damn it, it's the truth. At least I think it is. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. 
I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver, but that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. The fate weavers were once a great unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulvan. I'll meet you there. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate, measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. So and I'd be the fate ultimate faith weaver. Place in the weave, or fate weaver. We weaver. see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. What could this all mean? Pack up your beer, dude. Yeah, so my, my goal is to have be like I want I do want to do like a like a mage rogue hybrid. We'll see what we can do. Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker. The conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. So maybe I should go clear out that mine. We'll, we'll, come, we'll go check town. We'll come back. No, you know what? We're here. We we'll, we'll might as well clear it now. Might as well clear it now. So I think this is where we're going to come out. That trap is not hidden at all, dude. It's right there. Do you even have to move it?
bolts. Whoa! They look a lot cooler than World of Warcraft pro bolts, I'll tell you that. Okay. because the controls are so intuitive. They're very, very good, smooth. This is the way back out to the beginning. Yep, that's the way back to the beginning. Let's go the other way. Lockpick hard. Damn, that was quick. Well, that wasn't too hard. Glowing scepter. We required a scepter. Scepters are long range uh, weapons preferred by mages. Oh, so this will. The, the, so the staffs are. Yeah, the staffs are definitely like close. Almost like a. Me uh, almost like a melee weapon. This is more like a wand. So this is the end of the dungeon, I believe. Chica, holy shit, brother. There's a huge super chat, man. Watch it since uh, the house DLC for Dead Island 2. Love the vibes. Hey, I appreciate you for being here the whole time, man. Seriously. It means the world to me, brother. Now, using uh, this actually uses up mana compared to the staff. It doesn't use any mana. Not hit chat. Yeah, 
Okay, that, that does not hit. Do those get better than that? Because that is... That's wet noodle damage. Brian been watching since the house DLC for Dead Island 2. Love the vibes. Those are weaker versions. They get crazy good. Okay. Sounds like yo, that that was not it. I was just using mana, dude, and they were just kind of standing there like, what the fuck is this idiot doing? <laughs> Boots of ice shield. Let me see. aren't bad which ones do i have on right now these give no this mana regen i think i'll keep the mana regen though for right now at least but yeah some of the gear actually gives you some pretty decent stat resistances but i don't like ice resistance i don't know what that would do for me right now you know what I mean? like like Gem gems are powerful enchantments that can be added to weapons and armor at the saved crafting workbench. Okay. I, I did get the um, yeah, a few more accessories here. So we're wearing this. I think you have three on, right? Plus five health. Yeah, let's grab this one. Now I think the the staff that we have is. I don't. Yeah, I think they're both exactly the same, right? Yeah, they're both exactly the same. This one has a little bit more durability, though. Nate with the five months, man. Thank you so much. Didn't expect an scepter. You need points in there to get better damage. Got it. First little dungeon, little mine done. Bro, aren't you supposed to be leaving? <laughs> It's actually able to harvest that one. What is that thing?
You look at it and kill him all the way. I spared him. Hey, what the fuck's going on here? New location, you're able to fast travel to this location from your world map or press it. Okay, tracking. You'd like to fast travel, press Y to switch to the local map or world map. when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. What happened to her? Greetings. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Oh. Oh. We keep a precarious peace oh. with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night oh. worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. Uh. But we're a good community full of good people. She gotta stop, we stop making that noise, sure, dude. <laughs> but we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. She don't stop that. We're gonna have to take her out, chat. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Oh. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fae in the area. They're like their target's mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. We can help out. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days on the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Peaceful Fey make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home, but these men are a particular breed. They're like the victims weak and bloody. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. Hope you stay in town. And while that flip flopping bitch, you're gonna die. Loot special deliveries chest? The fuck is this? Wait, what is all this, chat? I don't want this shit. I don't want any of that. It's not my job to protect the Fae. How many times do I have to tell that to Herc?
Yeah, that chest is ridiculous, dude. I don't want none of that shit, dude. I'm trying to... I want to, like, earn some stuff in the game, not just get everything given to me. What is this? Watch over since you cannot. We'll visit often. This war is damn. There's a quest up there, too. Mitharu believes in justice, in equality, in order. What order is there when few choose to subjugate the many? The bricks of St. Odwig's were laid upon a foundation of exclusion and hate. How else do you explain their fear? They know the walls will topple! What the fuck is she talking about? What is the mission hiding? Whatever you do, avoid the monks of St. Odwig's Perpetual. They deal in lies and false tenets. Their light of hope will leave you in shadow. Sister Zelda? It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites and am as legitimate as any monk. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. Ah, uh, Jacob, holy crap, brother, dropping the five gifted, man. Thank you so much. It's not OP gear until way later. Yeah, the only thing is, is uh, cause like, I, I kind of look at it as like, like wow, like when you play games like World of Warcraft stuff, they have like heirloom gear, you put it on and you get set bone. It just makes you super overpowered. And like, I feel like that stuff's cool, like on maybe like a second or third playthrough, you know what I mean? But when you're first playing through, like I feel like getting new gear and being excited about drops is like super, super good. I guarantee if I grab anything out that box, I probably won't replace that gear for so long. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just be rocking that gear until whenever. So it kind of takes away, like, that that excitement of going into dungeons, getting new gear drops and things like that. That's why I kind of usually, I usually skip out on that type of stuff on my first time playing through a game. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the church deems worthy. Welcome to St. Odwig's Perpetual Mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. I mean, I got a hell of a nose ring, dude. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of Damn, the wood was... and the evil of wicked hearts. So what his eyes do? <laughs> Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world of Fay and Alpha. Trust and temptation. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. Like you, bro. Your eyes are the widest, bro. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. 
Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fay ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. We'll see. I I'll see what I can do, brother. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Frustrating, that one. Stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Matharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason. Bless you, child. Anthony with the five gifted men. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys out here showing that love, what man. It means a lot. Hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions uh, we I want to see if I can asking. sell some of the stuff that I have. truths of these wise men exhaust you as Blacksmith, they do me? I think. I have listened to their prayers for... Yeah, we got a smith here. Oh, you could steal shit. Need something? Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Okay, so we can repair our gear too. I was raised to know weapons before anything else. You won't meet many women who could fashion arrow fletchings before they could speak. Okay, so let's see here. Let's, uh, damn, repair all is 270? Fuck that shit. Yo, how do I sell shit? I'll be here. Greetings. Welcome to Gorhart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Here we go. Oh, uh, so let's sell. Does she have like a amount of gold? Is this another right great game Brian is gonna show me? Jacob, thank you for the super chat, brother. I mean, it all depends on your taste in games, but I personally think this shit is phenomenal already, man. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate you, Jacob. Yeah, we're making that bank right now. We're just, just getting rid of all this crap that we started the game with. Um, I got an extra necklace, a fire shield. So these gems here, I think you use to upgrade your weapons and shit, right? I don't want to sell. I won't sell any of the gems. Sell this crap, though. I'll keep the gems for right now. Yeah, we, just made a, we just made a bit of money, though. Let's see what you have to sell. So her birch staff she has uh, is a lightning damage. Shocking damage over five seconds. I don't know which one I'd consider better, man. Lightning or fire, dude. Damn, so this fire shield or this fire uh, staff she has is a lot better than the one I have. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna buy these robes from her, these cotton robes. Damn, they're five hundred though. Right, let's do it.
come see me again. Styling, chat. Styling, baby. Yes, what do you need? All right, we'll rock this. Goodbye. Okay, so what what quest are we gonna do first? Um Let's do this one with the lady being attacked first. So we gotta head. Oh wait. So we gotta gain access into this chapel. She's in this chapel. Okay, so in order for us to do that, we got to do the other mission first. Uh, this one, Crisis of. Is she not in there? It looked like it looked like she was in there, uh, or maybe she, maybe it was a different door location. Are you content to live among the lives of the? Mission? No, yeah, I definitely got to get they past this guy here. You. They laugh at your ignorance. Do the half-truths of these wise men exhaust you as they do me? So this one, we just gotta head up this way. I have listened to their prayers for too long. There are other voices to be heard. But yeah, in order to get there, I gotta go, I think, past that gate there. Maybe not. Maybe I just gotta go this way. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay. So you just gotta reveal the map, guys. What is just like little spirit dudes in there? Already got all the power chat. <laughs> DMC with the three months. Thank you so much. Thank you for the awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it, dude. And AJ, thank you for the super chat, Brian. Um, go get the weapons and items in town to sell them out of the chest. I mean, I, I won't sell them because I don't even want the gold. You know what I Because that'll just inflate my the amount of money I have. Um, so we'll just leave them there. Because, I mean, who knows? Later on down the road, maybe we want to play around with them or something. You know what I mean? But... As of right now, I'll just leave it. I'll just pretend it doesn't exist. So we just got some new boots. I don't know if those are... Yeah, those are fit finesse boots. What the face say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. 
Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. Oh, my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> And once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground and every Brian, morning, go get them weapons and items and sell them out of THT chest. From him. <laughs> oh, Jacob, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, ask, uh, will I be doing any more pack openings over on the other channel? So, I would love to, Jacob. The only problem with the pack openings, man, is it costs money. And I don't make any money over on the other YouTube channel. I just kind of do it for fun. Um... And, you know, I've done a decent bit of pack opens. I just can't afford to buy any more packs to open right now. So uh, that's why it's just kind of when I do find a good deal on something or we do have something to open. Well, yeah, we're, we're pretty dry on, uh, on things to open right now. But thank you, brother, for the super chat. I appreciate you, man. Uh, did I buy an Xbox? No, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, what is this? Seen the bag on the ground. I didn't know if it was something I could pick up. So this is her. She probably already knows. Yo, she May looks... your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Let's see what she has to say I about the Tuatha. Flitting through the western woods like shafts of shadow in the sunlight. What could have brought them here, I wonder? The Tuatha do not trouble themselves with easy prey. If they prowl these woods, it is for worthy quarry. Oh, you did, Airborne? Yo, that's dope. I won once so far, man. Um, nah, that shit's awesome, brother. I wandered the forest for many seasons, listening to lore stones of the great ballads. Before that, I dwelled in the gardens of Issa. I prefer the quiet of this village, the mirth of the witless. Sheldon, what do you mean, brother? We played, uh, we played Mad Max all the way through, dude. Mad Max was, uh, a huge hit for me. Surprising. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. I'll just shit on our fucking my body, why right, don't you? Uh Josie, I know you were also I know you probably you asked me the other day about that one five one master set. Um well it, it, the reason why I haven't reposted it is because it's gonna it's gonna be complete. Like all reverse hollows, the whole set, all sun hundred and sixty five cards, and then I, I got a huge amount of uh the illustration rare. So it's 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 a pretty. It's gonna be pretty done up nice, uh, but I'll I'll be reposting it here soon. I'll post a picture and stuff in in Discord before I put it on, just to give you guys a heads up. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. I, I gotta put more points in uh, alchemy. We are kin to the seasons and cycles of all life to new life and perpetual growth. 
Mortals may view the warmth of the petals and smell the beauty of a newborn bud, but only Fey know the strength of the roots beneath the surface. Feyland? Yes, I've heard these words before, but do not understand their meaning. There are only Fey, and there is only land. I do find all main sentiments so charming. I cannot reveal much. The gardens are the jewel of the summer court, a wonder beheld by few mortals. It is located far east of here in a wood so thick it would devour all but those who knew its secrets. Do not pursue such mysteries, mortal. They are not for you. I mean, <laughs> listen, the fact that she said that makes me want to go, chat. Laid back with the super chat. Thank you so much, Pokemon card slash fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it, man. Uh, DX, this game is sick, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time right now. So we got to find a greater healing potion. Now, I don't know what it would take to craft one of those. It's probably way beyond my ability. I don't have any points into alchemy. And maybe I have one. I don't remember. The fact that she told me not to go, I, I, now I'm like, now I kind of want oh. The fuck are these guys? Oh. Bright Bunny, what's going on? All right, so we're gonna go talk to the apothecary here. What is in here? Stay indoors after sundown. I don't remember the last time I slept. The Red Legion has everyone on guard. We don't ever take our eyes off the forest. Oh, is that the prison? I don't think I want to break into there. It said Lawbreaker's Grotto. <laughs> Stay close to the village. You there. Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? The fuck? I'm sure I have a vial somewhere in this cottage, but I do not have the time to search for it. I'm sorry. Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. Oh, shit. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. It was an early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Far Hall, an Irathi ruin. This game looks Gorkart. awesome, Glade. I stopped by. Sure Jacob, for sure, saved. dude. Thank you, you man. Learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. 
He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnor Farhall, the Arathi ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Okay, let me see. So she does have... Oh! Fucking expensive that is, dude. Goodbye. I do have a new staff, too. I forgot to check that one. Oh, wow, yeah, so this one is an ice staff. And it's uh, significantly stronger than the fire staff that we had. Okay, so we gotta go up, down, and around to this point. secret to tell you. I am not sad. When I was a girl, my father used to tell me that when you grow old with someone, you tie your fates together and create a pattern that is part yours and part theirs. My father said that this is why when an old person dies, their partner is never far behind. But I do not feel that way. I feel free. <laughs> My part. Yes. <laughs> like, does she feel like that's okay to say? Kind of feel like fable a little bit i mean it feels like like a lot like like a world of warcraft almost just and in like a fable hybrid with a way better combat system than fable oh yeah this game easily shits on fables combat system George, thank you for the gifted, brother. I appreciate it, man. But here he is. Press when a skull icon appears to enter aggressive mode, which allows you to attack friendly targets. Why the fuck would I want to do that? Oh, what is that? Chakrams? So can you can you throw them? Mad Max donated ten dollars. Happy Saturday night, Brian and Chat. Just got home from a lousy date. Nice to find a new stream tonight. Kingdoms was a fun game. Hey, Mad Max, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate you, as always, man, showing that mega love. Nah, yeah, dude, this is this has been a great time, dude. I hope the great. I hope your day gets better, brother. Karina with the super chat, thank you. Uh, doing tonight, just got off work, so perfect time to watch it live and relax. I hope you enjoy this one. 
So this shield here is a finesse shield. Against the dark, against the light, shield me the sun. Okay, so can't use that right now. Let's see what this guy has to say for himself. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So, are you foolish or just stupid? Yeah, this dude does not look like an alchemist. He definitely looked like a bandit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what he has to say for himself, at least. They're very careful about whom they allow into their ranks. And they were resistant about my membership at first. At least until I told them about Nanny. Her discovery will fetch a high price in Rithir. You could even decide this misbegotten war. Still, that is no concern of mine. I simply want to be one of the Red. She, like so many others in Gorehart, is prone to ignorance. She sees what she wants to see. I am her dutiful apprentice, and she is the wise mentor. Her whole life is a lie, she tells herself. Oh, I see. The twisted gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? I'm sorry. I have no choice. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody said that the, the chakrams are a mage weapon? Ridiculously broken, dude. That, that should not even be a thing. Okay, so we got to destroy the formula. I love these fucking things, dude. I didn't even know I wanted them until I had them, and now I love them. There's no other way, chat. There's no other way, dude. Oh.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on persuasion too a little bit. Yo, so what, what, what do those fall under, dude? Are those a sorcery weapon? Yeah, right there, chakra mastery. Requires five points in sorcery in order to get it. I only need two more points. Boom. Yo, oh, they're so good. Oh, I should have got the alchemy, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moves. Beyblades? Oh, there's a fucking glaives! Chakrams. Oh. Finesse abilities. Yo, the combat in this game is fire, chat. So the only... Oh, my God. Look at this, dude. There's so much... Oh. Meteor. Oh no, chat. I need all of this. Oh, what are the daggers? Shadow Strike? I want I want them all, dude. This is some bullshit. Pat, thank you for the super chat. Look, good now look in his eyes. Yo, Pat, did you see? He's getting see that look in his eyes. Everyone is dying. Lol. Open mouth smile. Tears of joy rolling on the floor. Laughing. Cold sweat smile.
But we're shitting on all these dudes. I don't even. I it's, uh, so many of the. I don't know. These chakram things are just so sick. But that dagger ability was so 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 sick. You can respect any time you want at the Fate Weaver, so don't be afraid to try stuff out. Okay. Pat and Arizo, guys, thank you so much for the super chats, by the way. I appreciate the love. Yo, yeah, I, I really, really like the combat in this one. Yo, Nate, it really is making it hard to pick, dude. It's like, I would, I would, yo. Know, I want to play with everything, dude. Okay, so we got to go down this way. Like, it's, it, it's for real, like. I'm pretty sure even the regular warrior skills are probably nasty, Chad. I didn't even check any of the warrior stuff, because... Comet Strike? Okay, so the warrior skills aren't too cool. Not super cool looking, at least. They're just savage. Okay, that's pretty savage. That's <laughs> pretty savage, dude. Great swords. Okay, yeah. Uh Or like that. Sorry, lady. But Nate, thank you for the super chat also, brother. have these in every game ever.
Ring of Lightning Shield, Helm of Fire Shield, Smoldering Staff. Let's check that staff compared to one we have. Lightning and fire damage. That's pretty dope. Let's try it out. So that's the end of the dungeon. So is there more shipments we gotta destroy? Yeah, so there's a ton more shipments we gotta destroy. to use my fate ability. They even got the Mortal Kombat Scorpion move. Get over here. Bullshit, dude. Because you know if they do, I got to use it. Get down here. Crude cotton shoes. Those are actually probably better than the... Uh, Armor boots I have on currently. No, definitely not. We got the boots of hail. I mean, they're better. They got mana regen, but.
They even got Mortal Kombat Scorpion move. Get over here. No joke. Hunt and cow. I mean, the, th the thing is, I love the way my hood, hood looks. So this cow is going to have to be real nasty in order for me to switch it out. It's got an armor socket. I'll keep the cow for now. One more crate. So you can't do stealth kills without daggers, it seems. all over them, man. Karina with the supers, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Seriously, oh, out here showing so much love. I, I really can't explain how much I appreciate it. Shredding dudes for a living. So now this should get us the potion we need to save the girl, right? What do you want? Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Hanry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Damn. Okay. And we got the robes of lightning shield. Okay, so I need that greater healer potion, lady. Do you really think I'm able to part with anything, much less one of my finest mixtures? This is a place of research. There is no charity. What do you mean you just said I was... <laughs> Goodbye. 
Chat, we need a greater healing potion. She has one for sale, but that shit literally is so expensive. I'll just fucking steal it, dude. Is there, is there somewhere we could steal it from? She had a whole guard down here, too. I didn't even pay attention to that. I can't afford to buy this damn potion, chat. It's literally like a... like. A, can I craft my own? Oh, here we go. Let's see. Create... Um, let's see. We probably got a ton of recipes. Experiment. Oh, here we go. This is where we're gonna find out the recipes. Okay, so we'll take uh damn it, raw damage. No, no, no. We can need health. Essence of good health. Restoration. Resistance. So let's do this and this. Chosen. You wanna mix? Yes. Alright. Mix it. Minor healing po- fuck. Okay. We, just, we gotta get our alchemy up. So I figured out how to do a minor healing potion, but I feel like the greater is just gonna be way beyond... Okay. We got some new robes. So we got robes of lightning shield, 30 mana regen per second, 29 armor, and then the robes of men. Yeah, so these are nasty robes. Hell yes. We still need sorcery eight in order to get this. Karina with another super that you work hard giving us this killer content so thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it seriously Um, so we got some new rings here lightning resistance plus five mana throw that on there um, Plus five health Ceremonial Red Legion blade that once. So yeah, we got that. I don't know if that's actually gonna be like a mission item or whatnot. That dagger we got off that dude. Okay, I was trying to see if we could rob any. I mean, check her. I'm not like robbing her like out of being evil, guys. We're just. We need that potion, man. How much gold do I have? I got 1,300. Like I could afford to buy it, but do you guys really think it's worth me spending all my gold? Faye in Gore to save that. Random ass Faye. Let's maybe do this other quest for this other faction. See if we can get. Oh, hold on. Let's let's go sell some stuff too.
If, if, if we do enough quests, maybe yes. we can scrape oh, together need? enough money. I won't feel bad about buying it for. Her. But I mean, as of right now, Chad, that's a lot of freaking gold, man. Merchant won't purchase stolen goods. To sell this item, we need to find a fence. Okay. Okay, I'm up to 3,800 gold. I'm not feeling too bad, chat. Yeah, Nate, I can't do it. I don't have a high enough alchemy level. Even if I know the recipe, it doesn't matter because I don't have three slots in the table to even do that. And nor do I have blood root or ember eye or any of that stuff. I, I could probably buy resources from her, but at that point, I might as well just buy the damn potion. You know what I mean? But yeah, you, I, I don't have three slots in the alchemy table even unlocked. Didn't you say it's black kosh, ember eye, and blood root? That's three ingredients. Any, any mix of the three? Well, here he is. He's definitely not dead, so what the fuck is going on, Brother Egan? Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmar and the Eternal, Messenger of the Fey Folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> Um, who are Finny and Arbos? They are Fey twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They promised to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Sounds shady, doesn't it? Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Listen, chat. I need that power. He doesn't need it. So, at the end of the day... It is in the caves of Waterhall Down. A refuge for the wild fae. See you later. Rick, what's up, brother? It's good to see you, man. We were, talk we were talking about going to uh, Boston again uh, for PAX. Uh, it's pretty much the same time of the year we came down last time. No, yeah, uh, we, we got to talk about because she just messed. Uh, we just talked about it the other day, so uh, we haven't finalized anything. We haven't decided if we were going to do it, but yeah, if we do, man, I'll for sure hit you up. 
This guy's not bad, man. He's got hands. Up to water hole. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest. Ask Father Dinwell. Bro, at this point, I'm getting the fucking Local treasure, dude. That the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. See you later. Bro, how are you gonna ask me to tell me to stay close and then you go running off? Let's see what we can find in there. Having a son. Oh, yeah, Patricia, definitely give me a call, brother. Yeah, we got to talk, man. There it is. Congrats, man. Yeah, Chris is going to be pissed that you didn't tell her, by the way, dude. She actually might kill you. Damn! Fruit steel daggers. Some traps in the water. All right, brother F for sure. I won't even tell her. I'll let I'll let you tell her, dude. That was a lot of gold. And we got a key. So there's a repair kit, like repair, repair your gear on the fly. Is it, oh, repair everything or? Let me see, for instance, like my, that's 18, 13 on the shock rooms. Let me see, so items. Restores a small amount of durability to an item. Okay, yeah. Yo, repairing your gear is gonna be freaking expensive, dude. Cause it was like 270 to repair everything. I mean, the game have elemental weakness, so keeping a staff with each element. Uh, uh, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. Yeah, I don't even know what, I think my, these are lightning, right? Chakram. No, you won't, dude. I'm taking the fucking treasure, dude. Does he really think he's getting that shit?
Sluice Caves, Vale. I'm not giving it to him. Dude. I'm about to put that shit out right now. Just to show him how much I'm not giving it to him. That shit's ugly as fuck, dude. Arbos and Finna will be waiting. Come, their camp is not far. Bro, I'm not giving this stuff. I'm not giving this to anybody. I want to keep it. Finna and Arbos made their camp in the old Fey ruins north of the village, near my camp. Yo, who's that random lady standing behind you, you later. Know? Who's that? Oh, no. What is this? A little Egan has made a friend? Hm. I have a feeling this is going to be a problem. They're not Fey. Obviously, anyone who has ever glimpsed a fae would know that. Unlike little Egan here, your head holds more than fantasies. The fae lands are such fertile ground for games. The inhabitants are so oafish, you can fill your pockets with hardly any effort. Are you going to give us what's rightfully ours, or do we need to start a new game? My brother and I are always ready to play. What if I wish to keep it? Then you'll have to pay for it with your life. You see, we have much invested in this deception. Blood, gold, not to mention the hours wasted on Egan. We may be criminals, but we're an honorable pair. We worked hard for our prize, and now we mean to have it. I got a 95% chance to tell him that the, the veil is cursed. But she's talking that shit, chat. <laughs> she's talking that shit. I don't even want to hit her with deception. I want to hit her with these hands. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to just say, this is mine, lady. Poor choice. Besides, Egan was just an instrument, a tool, as I'm sure you discovered. He can be disposed of, and so can you. And dispose of me. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't know. How could I? Before I came to Gorehart, I'd never known anyone outside my immediate family. Everything was so new, so magical. They would think me a fool. Yes. And Father Dinwell. Come, let's return to the mission. I must ask forgiveness of so many. Bye then. Yeah, they're just bandits, dude. Played the shit out of my man. I can't wait to get home.
Powering ring. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's barely any mana regen. Come, on to St. Oddwigs. Bro, y'all just got loot all over the place, man. Is picking this gonna be illegal? Nope, doesn't say stealing. Uh, so we got another leather hood, old leather gloves. This veil thing we're wearing though is it's pretty top Must tier. Must we return to the mission? I crave adventure, magic, power. Although all of those things are quite frightening. You're going home, dude. Perhaps it is for the best. This new world is far more dangerous than I expected, and I haven't eaten in days. Bye then. Must we return to the mission? Although all of those things are quite frightening. I'm new to the Feylands. Until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. That's why I volunteered. I wanted to see the world. I want to visit the gardens of Issa, to meet gnomes and Alpha, to live. The Order of Mitharu was a good way to leave home, but I want so much more. Bye then. Yes. Great Mitharu, Egan has returned. I brought him back, dude. As for you, you have done as I asked. And we here at St. Odwigs are forever grateful. Consider this meager reward a donation to your cause. It is just one, to be sure. Receive withering daggers? Yeah, see, we got to get three points into that, and we'll be able to do uh, the greater potion. All right, let me see here. So we can go one more point there. Arcane Weaponry unlocks a special attack from block for staff and scepters reduces. Okay. Blah, we get Mage Vortex, attack while blocking, um, to draw all the enemies in front of you to a central location, attack while blocking while the scepter sends a launching projectile towards your enemies, let's see, sphere protection, market of flame, Stormbolt. That's the one we have right now. Chain lightning. So we'll get this um, sphere protection. And then we'll do Chakram's four. I am gonna, I am gonna, I'm gonna probably just go buy that greater potion. I got, I could, I could afford it. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours! Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Mitharu's embrace. Ha! <laughs> The hypocrites. Should I? 
Should I get it for it, chat? Or should I fucking mind my own business? I don't want to like ruin my. Shit, we'll get it for. Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Mitharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. So I'm not, like, technically a member. Let me go sell some stuff real quick. We're going to buy that potion. What do you need? So we'll go buy the we'll go buy the potion. You can steal the potion. I mean, it's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. To, we'll do it this way. I mean, I, I could probably steal the potion, but I don't want to end up in the jail. my shop anytime and please enjoy a discount on all services and merchandise oh she's gonna give me a discount let's see how much is the potion yeah now it's only 985 it's, it's a couple hundred cheaper than she wanted before that's still a ton though all right we'll buy it fuck it goodbye we got the potion And there's a mission in the inn here. It's upstairs. You made it. Just in time, too. Give me the potion. It will help, but it's not enough. Someone must go to the Fey and explain what happened here. One small misunderstanding, and we'll no longer just be strangers to the Fae. We'll be enemies. She is a member of the House of Ballads, the legendary court of Fae heroes. They are warriors without equal, with centuries of glory to their names. If one of their own was killed by a mortal, the House of Ballads and its king would bring a fierce vengeance upon us. Gorhart would be a ruin by day's end. I'm not sure yet, but this is bad. She's Fae. Even worse, she's a knight in the House of Ballads. Fae don't kill their own, so it must have been someone in Gorhart. If the House of Ballads learns of this, the king will burn Gorhart to the ground. They see all mortals as invaders. We could go to the Warsworn and get an oath of protection, but that would require payment. We mustn't cover this up. But who do we tell? I don't fucking know, dude. I'm not paying anything, dude. You're turning out to be very helpful, my friend. You have my gratitude. I'll see to it that you're honored. Rumor says that the House of Ballads has its headquarters not far from here, in Glendara to the northeast. Try to gain entrance if you can. It's east of here, in the meadows of Yolvin. The Feylands are a wicked place. Crawling with creatures so strange, you'll assume you're dreaming. Farewell. Oh, so that's considered stealing that footlocker. There's a guy down here with a mission. What's this cool ass looking dude standing up against the wall? Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the Warsworn. 
Oh, so this is the guy, the, the war sworn is holy, holy, he told me to go get a pact of protection from. Let's Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Hell yeah, we'll join the war sworn. That sounds cool as fuck. You could head straight to Shield Ring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work, but a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. I've already killed Osgar. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin and a commendation to join the order. So I got one right of then. I already got one of the daggers currently. <laughs> Speak to the Lou dude in the inn? Who is that? Damn water. Some other guy I just talked to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh... What do you want? I didn't sell that dagger, right? I don't think so. It looked like a quest item, so that's why. I... Yeah, Osgar's crest blade. I don't think you can sell it though, because it's marked as a stolen. So I'd have I'd have to fence it. But yeah, we already got one of them. So we just gotta come up here and get the other one. Damn, that's way out there. Holy crap. Someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. There's need for an adventurer such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land south of here. Huh. Clever and strong, I see. It's as I said. We're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. Okay. Glad that's done with. Okay, so I can harvest that black, uh, conish shit. Yeah, bro. What's dude? <laughs> he fucked up. You all right, bro? Speak, Tolax. Please help me. Oh, the two legs are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cursed! You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head. 
But two leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch the meat birds. I must be changed her back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them. But I cannot fight in this form. Will you help, two legs? Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned. Be bullshit. The sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood. And from that they draw their power. The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. Beware them. They have much magic. Well. Oh, no. Regardless, those things are a pain in the ass. Anywhere? Two legs, two legs. Do you come to me empty handed? What is the meaning of this? The well holds powerful magic, as old as these trees. Our elders told us its true name. Your two-leg kind might <laughs> call it the well that wanders. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear like a wolf on hunt. But what prey it <laughs> seeks. Hmm. Before I was cursed, I remember <laughs> strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. Leechwood? That is the two leg name for that wood that feasts on strength. It appears through the <laughs> forest. Should not be hard to find. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. It must be what the well is seeking. Return swiftly. The fuck's this guy got me doing, man?
him that he moved again. There's a whole ass dead person right here. Student shoes of embers? Sinks to the swirling blackness, and suddenly all seems at peace. You take a draw of the wandering well. Got it. So it seems like it bounces around. So technically, all you gotta do is stand in one spot. Okay, let's dispel this. Fine iron chakrams. One of those are better than the ones that we got. And they got a utility socket too, which means we can gem them, right? So how do you put a gem in them? Or you, how do you fill that utility socket? Do I got to go to a, the workbench? I forgot what bench they said I had to go to. But I think you can go to a workbench or something like that. I'm playing this on Steam, uh, for those of you guys who are wondering. So I had to dispel it, and you need a fucking key? water faint but it does not escape me my pack shall hear of your compassion and honor i now go to the wilds and rejoin my pack and now you may continue on your path but with the knowledge of how to fight with the strength of a wolf now I shall drink deep of this potion and return. I feel like this dude is bullshitting me, dude. Okay. Howdy. Ah, finally. For a while I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveler by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? 
I mean, Penry does it doesn't pay. Most travelers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads, Fay, they are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad and a beautiful ruby ring, and I need someone to help me get it. Why does this sound kind of illegal, dude? But it says, I had to stop watching your Bannisters playthrough because watching you made me buy the game. Hey, man, I hope you enjoyed as much as I am, Brandon. It's so good, dude. Never met a traveler before, have you? We may look humble, but our purses are always full. You can find a lot of coin if you know where to look and when. The ballad is called Ring and Reprisal. I know little about it, but if we reenact the ballad step by step, the ring should come to us. In the story, a maiden asks a champion to reclaim a ring stolen by a troll. It's a few years too late, but I'll play the role of the maiden. <laughs> you be the champion. Okay. First, you must prove your prowess by hunting wild antelope and bring back something to lure the troll. Which I actually feel like a whole troll is going to actually show up. You'd have better luck getting an answer from one of these damn fey. But it's what the ballad calls for. You can find an antelope nearby. Bring them down and get proof of your kills. We'll need them later on. Hurry back! How the fuck am I supposed to get this damn antelope? Slit your shit. It was like really kind of like. Damn, we need four of those? Aries, though, thank you so much for the one month. I appreciate your face through this but priceless. Why? What do you mean? I feel like it's been pretty normal, you know? And I appreciate the love, man, for real. And Fred, holy shit, with the huge super chat, those green specters. The arms uh, and banishers remind me of those armless mutants. Yeah, they kind of remind me of, yeah, they, they, they look a little bit like screamers from State of Decay. So we gotta find some more uh, of these. If I had a bow, it'd probably be a little easier to hunt these things, right? Squirting out those things, man. There's a lot of quests around here, dude. Let's see what this dude wants. Hello there. Step 
Right up and allow yourself the pleasure of my company. I am the great Oleander Sinclair, alchemist virtuoso. Today only I am offering inhabit... Inhabitant... The people of Yelven a special... Those green offering? specters without Last. arms and banishers remind me of off. those armless mutants. Love your streams, bro. A potion. His potion, I mean. Oleander Sinclair. See, I'm not really him. He being a dead guy I found in a mine nearby. Landed on, really. But he was already dead. Maybe I took his coin and drank one of his potions. That's when things got strange. I could make potions? Tonics, cordials, restoratives. Turns out I really like alchemy. But the potion's effects are fading. Will you help me make another? What? Let's just say before I became Oleander Sinclair, I was less a traveling alchemist and more of a robber of traveling alchemists and <laughs> other people. <laughs> he was less a traveling alchemist, Chad, more of a robber of traveling alchemists. I, 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 I don't recall the potion's name. No surprise, I can't even remember my own name. That's the price you pay for being erroni... erroni... for being a liar. Those war-sworn curs likely have one in their keep. I'm not sure. They won't let me in. On account of my being a liar. You could make the potion using the proper reagents, but that would require work. We've got to hurry, though, because I'm getting dumber by the moment. Scour the keep and you'll find something useful. You wouldn't believe what those Warsworn are hoarding in there. I actually got a quest to join the Warsworn. Please hurry. All right, hold on. Are we, no, I gotta, I gotta get one more trophy. The man really said I'm getting dumber by the minute. One more antelope. Oh, yeah, I do got to get the other bandit dagger, right? Damn, we got super sidetracked, chat. Bitch. The combat in this game is fire, George. Yeah, it's, it's it, that's one of the reasons why I love it so much is it's like this is the combat I wish Fable had. Come on, just kill the fuck out of this thing, dude. Seriously, I can't even loot this one? Wait. 
Oh, do I already have all four? I already have all four. I thought I said I only picked up three. It's a hard lock. that stole the ring in the ballad is named Lekka the Corpulent. I guess he had a bit of a... appetite. You need to mount the trophies just like the champion in the ballad. When all are displayed, Lekka should come. Once he's there, it should be easy business claiming the ring. I mean, you've killed a troll before, right? Wait, what? You need to display them in the ruins. That's what's going to draw out Lekka the Corpulent and get us the ring. I'll be here. I thought she said we just had to reenact like this shit wasn't that real. It seems kind of real to me. That's a fucking actual troll, dude. Come on. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's my shield. But that did nothing. Ring. What is it? Ah, thanks for dealing with Lekka. I, I wasn't really afraid, mind you, just playing the parts all. Well, now that this business is over, just give me the ring and I'll give you your payment. Should have checked the stats on the fucking ring, dude. It was a purple, so it's it's got um. I mean, I could, I could convince her to let me keep it. We're not going to get the money, though. But then if the ring's trash, then I miss out on money. Ring ain't worth keeping. I'll give it. Yeah, we'll give it to her. And here's your reward. You know, you have the makings of a decent traveler, and I mean that as a compliment. You might try your hand at thievery. If you like it and you're good enough, you can sell your goods to our fences. Okay. So we got the Star Camp map. <clears throat> Peasant travels. Well, good thing I didn't screw her over, because uh, maybe we would have lost access to their... to the fence. I don't know how big the map is in this game.
Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Good day. Okay. Now it is quite big, man. It is quite big. All right, guys. But we're going to end this episode here. I feel like this is a good start. Um drop a save. I want to make sure it's getting it's getting late. I got to wake up early tomorrow. Um, son has a hockey game and stuff. So, uh, I, I wanted to jump in and check this out. And I got to say, I am so, so enjoying this. This is, this is good. This is a good one, guys. So if you guys want to see all of this, um, or more of it, just smash that like button. Uh, yeah, I did not, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect going into this. And uh, yeah, this is, I gotta be honest, way more than what I expected. This shit is awesome. It was going to be an MMO. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it does have that, like, feeling, like like a World of Warcraft. Like, I, I know I use that, but, like, the way even the artwork, the everything, it, I mean, I feel like this would have made a dope-ass MMO for real. <laughs> uh, the talent trees, there's just, there's a lot going on here. A lot going on here. But thank you guys again. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff, obviously. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all. You have a great rest of your night. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.